Aloha, this is Drake from the Pure KNF Foundation and the KNF Farm. And today I'm making a chicken feeder for large birds, which means that, you know, just adult chickens. While I'm making it today, I wanted to uh, film this and take you through the process and show you how I did it and why it's important to have Master Cho's specifically designed chicken feeder for your chickens to raise them with Korean natural farming. Join me in uh, going through this today. Hope this is informative for you and your practice raising your chickens where you're at. The dimensions here are, are according to the plan, you know, that's showed here. It's three feet long and um, about seven inches tall or so. So these are the tools that I'll need today to do the Korean natural farming setup. I have a skill saw, a square, a pencil, tape measure, two and a half inch screws, an inch and a quarter screws, safety goggles, hearing protection, battery, an impact driver, uh, drill bits. The other tool I'm gonna be using today is my table saw. So these are all the tools you'll need to accomplish today's project. In terms of the material that you'll need, eight foot by seven and a quarter tall by three quarters width common lumber. There's an inch by three quarters long piece of wood that'll be used as the roller bar. And then I have a bunch of cut off two by two to form the bottom of the chicken feeder. And I'm just using recycled lumber that I had laying around the house. And then I also have a recycled piece of scrap wood. So step number one, what I'm gonna do here is measure out my, looking at my plans, I'm gonna measure out the three foot widths of my common lumber here. measure um, six feet and an eighth to account for my saw blade. Throw some kickers under here and got my safety goggles on, my hearing protection. Adjust my blade so it's not super long. Just like that. Got the table saw here make my life easy. I'm gonna rip these boards that I cut to three feet. I'm gonna cut off an uh, inch and a quarter on here and leave these to be six inches long right here. Look at that. And so this piece becomes the outside frame. This piece becomes a lip that sits right on the on the top like that. So when you're looking at it, it's gonna be like that. So you don't need, you need this extra piece, kind of holds all the food in, keep it around, um, don't throw it away. Cherry, just like that. These pieces are going to form the bottom of the chicken feeder. In the middle of them, I'm going to use a piece like this, two by two, and it'll fit right here. Since this is recycled lumber, I'm just gonna square up the edges of these. Now, um, I'm just gonna get one other piece and make this total length here for myself, 36 inches. Next thing to do here to screw this piece onto here like so and I'm gonna put this so it bends in on me versus out because this lumber is a little warped already. So using my inch of 5 8 screws I'm just gonna secure this down. And looks like I got a little splitting, but that's okay. Maybe I should have pre-drilled these things, but these screws are supposed to go through without splitting. So now that I got one side attached like so, next part is to attach my other side. Okay. 
you're left with a design that looks like this. So this inner part helps keep the food from sinking into that crack and going through. This inner part actually keeps the food from sinking in. Last bit I would do is these parts I'm gonna cut off. This is to hold the stuff from flying out the edge. Just gonna t put these on the edges. Again, I can use my inch and five eight screws. Okay, so now this guy, he looked like this, okay? And that's pretty much what, what you like because now I gotta put the ends on either side and I like the end be the base so the thing keeps it from rocking back and forth. So I like the base come down to the bottom here and then I want it to come up a little bit more higher than the top because that's where I wanna put the top spinning bar. So the reason to put the top spinning bar is so the chickens, they don't make poop inside their own food. I can just use this piece right here. So cut this bad boy in half. One foot, one quarter, boom. Oh, boom, it's gonna work no problem. Okay, shoots. But that's what I'm gonna do. Screw that other piece of plywood and I need it. this bad boy boom put them on top right like that I can shoot one screw right here then I'm gonna adjust after you know how cowboy style is like no I like get them even over here what is that inch half a little bit more inch half so the thing gotta come that way like that what is that? Inch half, inch three quarter. So that'll come a little bit. About that. Inch five eighths, inch five eighths. Boom, right there. Never even need to do complex math. Why? Because if you know how to work them, you work them. That's all Uncle says. Try to check out Cherry that game. Cherry, huh? Unreal. Okay, and now, guess what? This sucker is almost done, but the last bit I gotta do is put a bar on the top. So, what I can do is take this piece right here, I'm just gonna scribe them. It's not too, doesn't have to be too accurate. Boop, cut them. Now this guy, you can fit right between. And then the key is to make this guy spin, yeah? So that is why I have the, dr the drill bits. building this Cho Pier Can chicken feeder today. This is for large size birds, um, adult chickens. And I just wanted to explain the key features now that I have it all finished. So if you look at it from this side, you can see how it's angled. And the idea is that as the chicken goes to eat the food, it naturally wants to scratch and peck, scratch and peck. And so by putting these angles here, it enables the chicken to naturally scratch underneath without disturbing the food that sits inside your feeder. So as the chicken is pecking and it'll scratch underneath and it won't disturb this food. So this feeder is designed to, with the chicken's psychology in mind of its natural scratch and peck behavior. The other dynamic of this um, feeder is this bar on top here. So the, the feeder is here and then in the very center there's this bar and the bar spins. And so that's designed to keep the chicken from standing and roosting on top and to poop inside of its food. And also this bar keeps the chicken from jumping inside and eating sideways. They have to stand on the outside and eat from the outside because this bar prevents them from getting inside to try to get into this feed. 
And the other, the other key feature in this, um, in the design is that you see in the bottom, there's this two by two right here. And this keeps the food from getting stuck in the very bottom of the feeder. Instead, the feed goes here on the sides and is into this area. So the feed never gets really crusty and, and at the bottom, the chickens are able to peck all this out and reach it from the sides. And the last feature on here is, um, is this lip. So if you look at this right here, you can see it on this side even, there's this lip at the very top. And that's designed to keep the chicken's feed from just flying out of here. It keeps it in, keeps the feed nice. So when you feed, fill this thing up, you fill it to the brim here and um, it keeps all the chicken food in. Um, typically in a chicken pen, you'd have eight of these feeders to feed your whole flock. They, they take turns, they eat out of this thing. And this design by Master Cho, part of the Pure KNF educational, how to build a, ch a chicken pen. So just take it and spin it for you guys. You can see, see the bottom is like this. And then even here, I can take it by this top and hold it and pick it up and move it if I needed to. It's all very, very sturdy. This thing should last about a decade, even on treated wood, uh, which is nicer for the microorganisms and all that. So hope you enjoyed today's video, this explanation. Long live the natural farmer. Well, you know what? I think I forgot to rip these pieces. In fact, let me look at the plans real fast. <laughs>